Moving on to other news now, as numerous cash-strapped builders in China halt construction midway amid the country's deep real estate slump, many home buyers are forced to live in unfinished apartments devoid of basic amenities like water, electricity and lifts. Many home buyers are now even protesting and refusing to pay mortgages. Take a look. Three years ago, Ms. Shu bought a high-rise apartment in the city of Guilin. It was the lovely and promising brochures that attracted her to make the big purchase. The project promised waterfront views, clean air, heated floors and sprawling lawns. But the reality of the project was anything but what was promised. Ms. Chu moved to her new home six months ago. What were once adverts of lavish lifestyle were the opposite in person. The woman is now forced to fend for herself in a nightmarish reality. The walls are unpainted. There are gaps left open for electric sockets and there is no electricity. Sometimes we buy water to drink and save the bottles. These bottles to fill up with water. We had no other choice when moved in here but to set up a water pipe. We flat owners wash our clothes and hair here. Since there's no hot water or electricity, so we wait until the water is heated up by the sun and then we wash our hair. Chu bought the apartment with high hopes. It was a gift to her son for him to raise a family there in the future. But her dreams of a happy family were shattered by an unfortunate reality. It feels like suddenly crashing from paradise back to the ground. All the family's efforts were invested in this house. Originally, my son was old enough to get married, so that I bought him this flat. He wanted to start his own business in this city, but I didn't expect the building to be rotten. Now in my family, my son doesn't talk to me and my husband doesn't talk to me either. Miss Chu's is not a lone case. Since the debt crisis erupted in 2021, thousands more home buyers have been caught in similar predicaments. Cash trap developers have either declared bankruptcy or have abandoned struggling projects. It's not easy for the common folk to buy a house during the lifetime, so we have to fight for our rights and entrusts. Mm. The proliferation of unfinished apartments has sparked unprecedented collective disobedience. In June, thousands of home buyers in at least 100 cities threatened to halt mortgage payments to protest stalled construction. If the developer cannot resume construction, it means that the developer is still in a very poor financial situation. If I am a home buyer, I will think, for example, if a developer has an unfinished rotten building in a certain place that has not been finished, I will not consider buying the apartment it is selling elsewhere, because that property may also have problems. This will further aggravate the debt problem of the real estate companies. China's deep property slump, along with disruptions caused by strict anti-COVID measures, are dragging on the world's second largest economy. They come just a month before the ruling Communist Party gathers up for its once in five years Congress. Bureau report we on, World is One. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.